Hello, I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about how to take a digital badge that you've earned in SimNet and add that to your LinkedIn profile. First, it's great that you've earned a badge. As you can see here, I earned my level one white belt PowerPoint badge. And so this is fantastic. It shows that I have some proficiency in that application. I want prospective employers to know that. So this is a wonderful thing. The only problem is if I don't get that badge onto my LinkedIn profile, then effectively no one knows that I have that skill. So it's critically important to move the badge from SimNet over to LinkedIn. So I've already queued this up that I've got my LinkedIn profile pulled up. To begin with, first and foremost, you must have a LinkedIn profile. So it's critically important that everyone today have a LinkedIn profile. What's happening is employers are starting to look for prospective employees by going right out to LinkedIn and finding out what they know. And what's great about a digital badge is that helps an employer know what you know. So the badge shows some level of proficiency. In this case, an employer can know that I know something about PowerPoint by having completed the badge. So you could see here, the badges come into the licenses and certifications section. And in that section, you could see I've got a variety of badges here. And in total, I've got 22 licenses and certifications that appear in this section. And one of those, of course, is the white belt uh, for Microsoft Excel that I that I earned in SimNet. So I've already moved that one over, but I have not moved over yet my PowerPoint belt. So we're going to do that now to find out where you are in the process of earning a belt in SimNet. If you go into the library and then pull up the book that is. Um, relevant to what you're working in, you will see a progress monitor here that will tell you where you're at. In this case, you can see that I've done 100% of the work necessary. In this case, these were the let me tries. So I've done 100% of the work necessary to earn the white belt. Now I have it. So now that I have that belt, I've got to do something with it. If you can't remember how to get here, that's fine. There's actually multiple ways to get to your, your digital badges in SimNet. For those that are completed via the Let Me Tries, those are the white and purple belts, you can find those by going into the book. However, uh, there are other belts that you can earn. And so if you, let's say, earn a yellow belt or a black belt, uh, you would need to come into the credentials area. So what I did is I clicked on my name and then went into the credentials link. And here I could see my white belts for Excel and PowerPoint. And as I said, I've already moved this one over. So the white belt for Excel has already been put onto to my LinkedIn profile. However, I've not done that for PowerPoint. So we want to do that now. And uh, as I mentioned, first and foremost, you have to have a LinkedIn profile. So make sure that's all set up. Make sure you're logged into your LinkedIn profile because that's going to make things a lot easier if you're already logged in in that session of your browser. So uh, once you do that, we want to take a look here at the full credential, and you can see greater level of detail here by scrolling down through, and we can see this uh, details the skills that I know, which is excellent for an employer who might want to hire me. They can come into here and see exactly what I know. But again, I'm still stuck basically in SimNet, and I need to get this to LinkedIn. So what you will see when you come into this screen is you're going to see the add to my LinkedIn profile link, which is located here. And by clicking on that, uh, I then get a couple of options here. Uh, I want to either add to my LinkedIn profile or share. Now, what you want to do is actually add it to your LinkedIn profile. If you just share it, what that's going to do is that's going to put an announcement out on your LinkedIn profile but it's not actually going to appear as a badge on your LinkedIn profile. We want this to be permanently here as a badge. So we want to add to my LinkedIn profile. I'm already logged in, so this is going to walk through into my profile. If you had not logged in, you would receive an additional screen that would pop up that would say, all right, please log into LinkedIn. So you may get a slightly different sequence of screens simply because of the fact that uh, you may not be logged into LinkedIn. Once you are, though, you will get to this screen and you can see here that uh, it has all the details for that badge. And all I'm going to do is click save and it's going to add that badge to my profile. So uh, I can also 
create an announcement here, which I don't necessarily want to do every time I get a credential. You could do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, but in this case, I didn't want to do that. So uh, here I'm logged into my profile and I'm going to go down into my licenses and certifications. And now you can see there's my white belt. So pretty straightforward. Again, the sequence of steps are you're going to earn the credential, you're going to earn the digital badge. Once you have the digital badge, you're going to, in your profile, go into the area uh, where that badge is located. That's again by clicking on your name, clicking on the credentials link. Here are your listed credentials. You're going to click the uh, button that allows you to see the full details on the credential. Once you get into the full uh, details of the credential, then you can add it to your LinkedIn profile. And once you do that, if you're logged in, it's just going to push it through. So I hope this video helps. It's a very straightforward process. Once you do it once, it's pretty easy to do. I recommend putting all your badges out there. Even if you've earned the black belt badge, put the white belt, the yellow belt, the purple belt, the black belt. belt. The more certifications you have, the, the better you will look in the eyes of an employer as they're looking for someone with skill. More certifications means that you're a bit more diligent perhaps than others. It means that you have better proficiency possibly than others. So every little bit helps when you're, when you're pursuing a, a potential job. Hope this helps. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.